Hey guys, Andrea Ricks here, and today I'm coming back at you with another haul video from the Minifig Co., as you might have been able to guess based upon the product in front of you, but it's a haul. I know that I have many of these recently, and as I said in a previous haul video, a lot of these upcoming hauls are mainly going to be centered around modern stuff, because that's really what TMC has been releasing lately. So without any, you know, further talking <laughs> about what possibly could be involved in the haul you see right in front of you, why don't we get right into it? So first of all, we can look at these stickers, of course, just two of the classic, the new sticker right here, and the old classic black sticker. So first, uh, I guess I can zoom out for this guy just a little bit. And what you can see is that we have Grand Admiral Thrawn right here. So if I take him out of his packaging real quick so that you can check him out, this is a continuation of TMC's Star Wars minifigure line. I think that's fairly obvious to uh, get from this figure. Uh, let me fix the lighting so that you know it's a little bit better. But anyways, as you can see, here is our Grand Admiral Thrawn with his armor. I think that there's some great detailing on this guy. Uh, and I'm actually gonna do a comparison video between the original Grand Admiral Thrawn that TMC created and this guy, cause they're both pretty awesome. He also came with this Brick Arms blaster. And then as the same as the previous Thrawn, he has printed on dual molded white and black Lego legs. Uh, this hat, or I guess this helmet is pretty awesome as well with that pad printing. And other than that, there's not a lot to this figure. There'll be more on this figure in the comparison video. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for it in the future. Now onto the main portion of the haul. If I can get this stuff all out. So I guess the first thing is I got some of these Imperial helmets, as you can see with the printed goggles, nothing very special. So let's toss those to the side. But the main attraction in this episode are these figures, or should I say these bodies. So first of all, to get this guy out of the way, I got two of the late war American officers. So of course, these are World War II uniforms in this nice olive color based on, I think it's 1943 and later. So a nice figure, you know, some nice Thompson and a, I guess it's a canteen on the back of the body. And then as you can see on the front of the body, we have the pistol pouch on the right side. Other than that, it's a fairly simple figure. You know, it's an officer, so this will be great to add to the collection. And I will be doing some World War II mocks in the future, so I'm glad to be having this guy. And the main attraction, I guess the main, main attraction is this figure. So in this haul, I actually didn't get all of them. I ordered 12 in total, but I actually made two separate orders. Uh, so I actually got 10 of them in this one, along with some of the Marpat boonies, as you can see, and just some heads, you know, some modern heads, which I can use for my figures. I'll quickly show them off right here so that you can see what kinds of heads I got. Nothing very special from the heads, but this, uh, you know, this Marpat JPC figure really is the star of the show with a 360 degree, or really, in my opinion, 270 degree, as you can see, uh, arm printing. It's really quite a nice figure all around. Uh, I'll show you the back and the front simultaneously so you can see. So as you can see, you kind of have that camel back on the back along with the radio and some other straps. And then on the front, you have the very signature looking uh, kind of magazines, the American flag in the center, and of course, the plate carrier. Now I also got these boonies, as I mentioned, and I'll balance it here on the figure, as you can see. Uh, but I got 10 of these, I got four of the boonies. So, you know, it was a nice little modern haul. As I said, a lot of the stuff I've gotten recently is modern. And actually, I did mention this, but I have more of these guys coming on the way. So those will probably be in a subsequent haul video. I ordered them probably only 30 minutes after this initial order, but I guess that they just didn't happen to process together. So that's why they are coming separately. But other than that, that's kind of everything that I got in this haul video. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the time and set everything up like sometimes, you know, I do at the end of my other haul videos, simply due to the fact that I have a lot of loose items in this haul. So I feel like it would be easiest just to set it up for the thumbnail afterwards. But anyways, guys, 
I hope that you enjoyed this haul video and I hope that you've been enjoying the content overall. Uh, I've noticed that the view counts on some videos are rather inconsistent. You know, some stuff I get less than 100 views and then others I get 300, 400, 500. Uh, so something that would be very helpful to me is if you guys would comment down below what types of comment you, content you like the best. Uh, just tell me, you know, do you like haul videos? Do you like reviews, comparisons, mock videos? What do you like the most? Uh, that would be very helpful so that I can help to tailor the content that I create and the videos that I make uh, more specifically to what you guys enjoy watching and we can get more consistent with those viewership numbers. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say or any new announcements. Uh, this, of course, has been a haul video from TMC or the Minifig Co. Uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all the normal stuff, and I'll catch you next time.